Back now with the housing crisis facing members of the military. And we're not talking about the number of available homes either. Yesterday at 5.30, we showed you the admission by the military and Congress that they dropped the ball when it comes to the quality of housing, specifically privatized on-base housing. Well, today, Senator Tim Kaine was in Hampton Roads to get a first-hand look at conditions. And 10 of your sides, Chris Horn is following up. Chris. Tom, leaky roofs, toilets that don't work, those are inconveniences. Add to that poor ventilation and mold, and now you're talking bona fide health hazards. And Kane says the private housing companies are either unwilling or unable to solve the problems. Military families shouldn't be living at standards that are below the standards that are in all the housing that surround the military base. Senator Tim Kaine says people who live in private military housing have problems that never seem to get solved. He spoke today with a family with a newborn. There is unacceptable um, ventilation with a next door unit and the, the smell of smoke pervades their unit even though they're non smokers and they worry about secondhand smoke effect on their baby. Others Kane talked to say their homes weren't livable even from day one. When you move in and the unit hadn't been cleaned and it's trashed and two of the three toilets don't even operate, I mean, did somebody even check? Did somebody even walk through this place? And even when the housing firms did respond, the solution was almost worse than the problem. Reporting mold and then having somebody come and try to paint it over coming and try to sand it? I mean, are you kidding me? Kane is sponsoring a bill with Senator Mark Warner and two others that would withhold the tenant's housing allowance and stop incentive payments to firms that don't correct substandard conditions. He says it's up to military leadership to keep them in line, and the commander of Navy Region Mid-Atlantic agrees. And although we can outsource our privatized housing, we can't outsource the responsibility and obligation of, of leadership Senate votes next week on President Trump's emergency declaration. Kane says we shouldn't use military money as much as $6 billion, some of which could go to improve housing, for what he calls a non-military emergency. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.